Hi, this is Jennifer Jalo Gat from JennifaSpeaks.com. I'm JJ Gat uh, YouTube channel, also Digital Publishing Academy. So I'm coming to you with another quick little tutorial for those of you who are fashion bloggers or uh, who are shop style collective members and you are interested in learning how to do a save or splurge post. So you know the site that says here's a celebrity outfit that costs like $4,000, $5,000 to get, but you can get the same outfit for $50. So I did a post, I just published it, it's Get Khloe Kardashian's 3000 Satin Maternity Look for $50. Um, I really don't like the headline, but I'm tired, so I just did that. So as you can see from this post, it's Khloe Kardashian. She wore this outfit, this dress, and this cape trench coat while promoting her show that's on E! Network called uh, Revenge Body with Khloe Kardashian. And so these outfits, these are similar looks that you can get this shirt and that jacket for 50 bucks. And so you're getting this $3,000 look for 50 bucks and get the Khloe Kardashian look. So you like how she looked, but you don't have her money, you can get this look. So how do I did that post? How do I figure this out? So I'm going to tell you some secrets here. So there's a little secrets for those of you who do celebrity coverage as well. So first things first is I found this because I follow various different celebrity sites. So I have them on Google Alert. So people say to me, how do you find all this news? How do you get this news? So we look at each other. We keep track of each other. So do a Google Alert for Khloe Kardashian or celebrity pregnancy or bump. And I'm going to get these alerts on her. And then also I follow them on social so I, I know what's going on. And I follow other sites to cover them. So I know we all crib from each other. So I discovered she went on a show. So the first thing to do is find out who makes this. And here's a little secret. There's a site called Outfit Identifier. This is yeah, OutfitIdentifier.com. And they have all these celebrities in here. And they just, they someone, somehow, I guess they get people, give them tips and insights. And then they might have people work there. Um, and they make their money because they post these things. And they make money off of clicks with shop style. So they post these outfits, they figure out who was wearing it, and they put it there, and naturally people will want to click to see how much it costs. Each time they click, this company makes money, and this site is really, really popular. Um, so you can type in Khloe Kardashian, and you got all her different looks. So I scroll, 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 scroll down, bam, there it is. So it was Kushni at Oaks, I'm not quite, not quite sure that's how you pronounce this designer. And then the coat is by Galvin, the shoes of Giuseppe, is it no, Zanotti, Giuseppe Granati, I'm not quite sure that's how you pronounce that. So boom, so I know how it is. So because this site is a shop style affiliate as well, this is a shop style site, I can just click there and I know the precise name of the dress that she wore. <laughs> and um, there it is. It's a black pyramid pencil dress. So when I'm describing it in my post, I can have the exact same name and then I know the price of what it costs. Um, and if someone wants to get this dress, they can get it. So I can just click this link, copy, go to shop style, go to create a widget, uh, create a text link and then paste it here the address build it and I get a code so then now I know for my post I can actually link to the actual dress and here it is it's linked to that dress um, and the same thing with the coat um, I did the same thing with the coat but I don't know if I found out how much a coat cost did I yeah I did I found out how much a coat cost so that's the link to the code right there so that's the first step is find out what the original dress is and how much it costs because it's a save or splurge. In order for me to say the splurge part, I need to know exactly how much it costs. So now I know together the outfit, the shirt, and the the coat, the dress and coat are about $3,000. If you add the shoes, it's, it's more money, but I'm just going to go with the dress and shoes. Then I go find similar looks. So you can either go to Shop Style Collective if you like. I went to Amazon because I can get a direct commission link share because if you're an Amazon affiliate, not a lot of people want to buy dresses on Amazon. So you can find another affiliate relationship you have with another site um, where you get commission. Or, or you can use the shop style link and then find similar dresses. So this is a cutout dress. has a cutout shoulders. And this is a similar color. And this is a, a cape. And then you, when you do your article, you say if you want a less costlier version. Costly, is that a word? Did I spell that right? That should be costly. It's costly, it's not a word. <laughs> Version, don't mind getting it shipped from Amazon. You can pick up a similar dress by Hello Miz. Their women's cold shoulder length dress starts at 99 And it's gotten reviews from customers who bought the shirt. Great reviews. So that, and then Amy Filler has a cutout cold shoulder dress at 20 bucks, And then there's an open shoulder coat for 26 So you can recreate that whole look for 50 bucks. So that's your post. You get, this is your look for that. And then boom, you're done. But now for some people, okay, so for, for um some people also may actually want to know more about that designer and more about if it's worth actually getting that look themselves. You know, some people covet designer labels, whether they can afford it or not, or they save for it because they value it. So to let them know if no one's heard of that designer before, I haven't before I saw Chloe wearing this dress, but apparently it is a popular dress. 
And how do I know that all these people were in this? Where did I get this from? I go to their site. So I went to the site of the actual designer and luckily they have an Instagram. So I clicked at Instagram and they have a Twitter and they have Facebook. You can go to either one, but I find that Instagram is easier. It's, it's visual and it's easier to scroll to find information. So I go through, I scroll, and that's where I discovered that their dress has been worn by the likes of, let me see what was this one. This is where I'm scrolling. Where's, I, I saw Michelle Obama recently on there. Why is she? Oh, this is why I saw the Chrissy Teigen. So Chrissy Teigen wore their dress. I oh, thought that was with Luna. And <clears throat> here I found for the premiere of her show, her movie, um, Proud Mary, one of her premieres. Oh, yeah, sleepy. She hits P. Hesa wore the outfit. So I took that. I um, screen grabbed that. And here's a picture of Selena Gomez with blonde hair <clears throat> wearing one of their dresses. So I put that together using, um, what did I use? I used Pick Monkey. But you can use Cap Cap Canva or whatever you want to use. I used Pick Monkey. And that's how I came up with this, um, this collage here. So I put that together with Pick Monkey. I could do a, a screen and see who these people are. I think they're famous enough that people know who they are, and I didn't mention them below. But anyway, I might do that later on. I'm tired. Then after I did that, so that gives that gives people who don't know this brand know that okay, this is a sought after brand. This is a, so if you if you can afford it and you don't want to go with the fifty dollar one, you might want to explore to see whether the dresses they have and whether you can afford it. Turns out you can't afford it because as I was scrolling through, I I did a search for this brand. This is three seventy three. That's not bad for a dress. Um, two ninety two. That's not bad for this outfit at all. It's like a jumpsuit. Um, so you can get. I mean, they have the more pricier stuff on there, but you can get like the clothes here at a reasonable price. You scroll through, two fifty eight for that shirt. Those aren't bad, you know bad prices. Um, so for those people who are like, okay, I can afford this, maybe they'll may click through to see if they want it or they see they can afford it or get a closer look. Each time they click, if you're a shop style collective person, you're getting paid for those clicks. So you want to give people options so they can just click here and buy it, which is great. If they buy any of these, you're going to get a commission on the sale. So you're looking at two, three dollars versus a click. So if you're if the click per mile, click per minute rate is two cents, each click is just two cents. But if you're popular enough, you can boost this up. And then what I'm going to do then after this is I'm going to take this and create a pin on it. And I'm going to pin it on Pinterest. Um, you know, as you probably know, like if you just pin this directly on Pinterest, it's not going to get as much boost as if it's a vertical image. So I'm going to take this and create a Canva pin and the same thing and make it long and so it's pinnable. So I might just attach this and that and just say, get these looks and, you know, it might, and it, it link back to here. And I can also, because this is created on the shop style, I go to shop style page, I go to my widgets. Um, this is stuff at $77 here. Go to my widget here. I made it a, a featured widget. Yeah. Go to the widget. I can convert this widget into a look. Oh. So I can convert that widget into a look. Create a look. Um, I don't know. I'm going to convert that widget into a look. Convert this widget. Yeah, convert to look. Okay. So the, the image is already there. So what I'm going to drop here is maybe I'll drop this there. Love was a crave. Can't even pronounce it. The name is so complex. <laughs> oh, okay. I want to describe it in my posts. Kush et ox. <laughs> I just I'm too tired to try to memorize how to spell that. Um, yeah. Kush et ox. Celebrity looks. Get them. Whatever. You just put whatever you want to do. You put the brand there. Push to get those. Celebrity fashion. Celebrity looks. Mm. Celeb. Is it Michelle Obama? Looks. And you can put whatever you want here. You can even, you know, I could put. Camilla, I think she spells with one L. Cabello, um, Taraji, P. Vincent, Lopes, put Selena Gomez, Selena Gomez, Lopes, 
Let's see. Tegan, maternity, maternity. Let's go see. Tegan. There's no limit on these. And I, I'm, I think that what happened is they, the shop star, or else I'm going to add all these extra ones. I just add everything they have. These are not fall fashion, whatever. This is not good, but I just have them all in there. Then collection. So I'm going to add this to, I don't have a collection for this. So I'm going to leave that out. And then finish. When you're done, you can um, pin that look. And so this is going to be pinned, this look right here. I'll just pin it to style or something. It's my style board. I'll just put it out style picks. So there you go. Um, or I can also tweet out that look if I wanted to. I can tweet the look as well. Ooh la la. Mm. Something like that. Or you can post it to your Facebook as well. And you can also, this other thing is good. Get your look is ready so I can um where's my look? Um where is that look? The look is should at the bottom it's not the bottom, I just created it. it should be at the top. It should be below the starred ones. Yeah, so I'm gonna feature this. I'm gonna start it so that way it goes on top. I can get it easily. The starred. And that's you push the start, it means it's featured. So if I want to look at it, you click here and here it is. Yeah, so here's that look. Here's these dress, these clothes. Boom. So then you can actually also pin, save each individual one. So I would go here. I'm going to save this dress. I see it's a style pick. This is just going to go to um, shop style, but I'm going to get, it's not going to go to my blog, but each time someone clicks this and they like this dress, it's kind of hard to see the dress. I don't know, is it going to show up like that? No. Yeah, I can edit the. I should edit the um, edit the the caption. The other thing, I, there's a trick also because people don't like to click or purchase from shop style because they know they purchase from shop style. It's going to some blogger and they don't want to put money in the blogger's pocket. Like you know, like other bloggers might not do this. Regular people might click it and purchase it, no big deal, or click it just to see it. Um, but I know in terms of purchases, I know sometimes bloggers don't want to blog it. But there's a way you can pretty link it and conceal that it's from shop style. I think I'm not quite sure, but um. My McAfee protection ended. Ugh. Anyway, so that's it. There you go. And I, I, I um, hyperlinked to Chloe's show, so that's why. Put that there. I think that's it. I'm so sorry. I'm yawning. I'm exhausted. But there you go. I hope I didn't go too fast. I'm really tired. Um, I might redo this again later on. But there you go. That's how you do a, 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 a save and splurge post that you can then repurpose and use at different styles and just close this. So this is really cute. So I can like save this like that. That's such a cute outfit. And I'm going to not save that. I wanted to um, I guess save and pin that. Yeah. So these are cute. So people click on these pictures. So I mean, that's a quick, easy way. You just put this look together. And later on, you can, I would send this to Tailwind so it's not like drowning in people's feet. This is such a cute thing here. Like instead of style pics there, I would say, I have board booster. So I would say that boop, boop, boop. here, board booster. That's the one. So that would pin out later on. This is so cute. I like this dress right here. Anyway, that's such my style. But I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's it. So that's how you save do a save and splurge post. And then also that you can repurpose later on and pin and use it to pin other images and try to maximize it and repurpose it. And boom, there you go. And then this is a cute little collage too. That you can use this later on. Even though this post is about save a splurge for this one, if I want to later on convert it and just talk about this brand and say, hey, here's a cool brand to get. I can use this picture again and make that the header. So you can convert it. So in one post, I not only converted, made it a post, I can make it a second post here. I can promote this here. I can promote the look. I can promote these individual styles. And what I'm doing for you is I can create a tutorial out of it. So you can really like repurpose it, like have one post. And I just did this really sleepily. I'm sleeping. I need to take this, this um, exclamation point out. That's, that's tacky. I'm not sure I'm going to take it to 3K out. Let me just say 3,000. I don't know 
else unless me I'm, I'm tired anyway that's it